And it would, as a result, he would end up doing a writing run on Aquaman for DC. Uh, September of 2019, Larson plans to contribute to the Amazing Spider-Man going big for Marvel in celebration of the character's 80th anniversary. In 2004, Eric Larson was made publisher, replacing Jim Valentino, where he oversaw all comics pu- published in their image outside of, outside of the partners. He held the position to July of 2008, when he stepped down to be replaced by Eric Stevenson. While rumors persisted of a coup over his publishing title, Larson stated it was because he wanted to focus more on Savage Dragon, something the fans wanted as well. He also praised Stevenson, pointing out how he worked with Jim Lee and Rob Liefeld before, making him an ideal choice for the job. Today, Eric Larson lives in South San Francisco, California, with his wife, Janine, and two sons, Christopher and Joseph. As mentioned, he doesn't encourage them to be high school dropouts like himself, despite his success. Throughout all this, Eric Larson remains the writer and artist of Savage Dragon, remaining true to his original plan to draw comics his own way. During his run to date, Dragon went from a police officer to president, getting married, having a son and a stepdaughter, along with battling in an alternate dimension. Through it all, his origin was finally revealed to be Emperor Kerr of the nomadic alien race, looking for a new home planet. However, when Kerr planned to kill all the humans on Earth, two of his scientists turned on him, erasing his memory, leaving him stranded on Earth with his story, which the story begins the original miniseries. It's a run that tr- trumps all other image creators, with Larson even joking at one time he planned to do 302 issues to beat out Dave Sin's run on Cerebus, which went to 300. However, Larson has since stated he tends to do Savage Dragon until he's bored with it, and, it is, and even intends to include his other creations, Freak Force and Super Patriot, from time to time. As a result, Savage Dragon is the longest-running American full-color comic to ca- carry the same writer-artist from the beginning, and next to Spawn, the only original image comic book still going today. With crazy stories like he keeps coming up with, that doesn't seem to be, it doesn't seem like that's going to be ending anytime soon. I would like to chafe the, thank the uh, chief source for this material, uh, Image Comics, The Road to Independence by George Corey, a great oral history of uh, the uh, founding of Image Comic Books and its history at the 15 years later, featuring interviews from nearly all involved. A great read for any fan of Image Comic Books. And now is October 31st, 2019, time for the favorite comic book of the week. Savage Avengers Annual, number one, by Gary Dugan and Ron Carney. This is a fun uh, of, uh, issue that finds that continues the adventures of Conan now in present-day uh, Marvel Universe as he's traveling to take down the evil warlock Kool and Gaff. And along the way, he uh, teams up with Hellstorm and the Black Widow. Gary Dugan does a really good job uh, bringing uh, Conan into the Marvel Universe, and he's great to see how he interacts and showing how well he's still a barbarian, despite what he does. For instance, he uh, along in South America... He manages to free a bunch of sex slaves, showing he is a hero at the heart, but in his soul, when a few of them are willing to uh, show him some gratitude, he's not, he's, he's not one to turn it down. So he's still a bit of a barbarian, too. His interaction with the rest of Marvel Universe is great, especially Black Widow, who he does take a liking to, and hey, I ship it. Overall, plus uh, Ron Garney's gritty action pat art makes for another fun issue, and I've been really enjoying uh, Marvel bringing Conan back to the Marvel Universe, and especially his interactions with uh, the uh, Marvel Universe in general in Savage Avengers and so forth. And this issue is no exception. It's a fun issue all around. And of course, uh, as you know by the date, this uh, episode will be dropping on Halloween. So happy Halloween, everyone. I hope you're enjoying some good spooky fun, trick-or-treating and all and the sorts. And uh, if you're looking for some uh, comic book uh, Halloween recommendations, a little bit late, but The Crow is always a great one. And then, truth be told, is a great com- pumpkin. Charlie Brown is an adaptation of a comic strip, but well, we comic fans like to claim it. So uh, those two are great choices: The Crow, and of course, uh, it's a great pumpkin. Charlie Charlie Brown by the great by great Charles Schultz. With that, uh, join me again next week when we move on to the next image founder on this list, Jim Lee. Till then, go out and enjoy yourself a good comic book. <laughs>